Last night, I saw something in my dreams. I can see people, places, things others can't. Last Night in Soho is a psychological thriller, and I'm certainly a huge fan of that genre. There was a girl. And you are? Sandy. The inspiration for a lot of my movies is sometimes just the longing, the yearning for a genre that I miss. There's a certain feeling that I get from the films from the 60s and 70s that thrilled me when I was younger. So magic that I would like to try and recapture. If I could live any place and any time I'd live here, in London in the 60s. Like Eloise in the movie, I'm sort of obsessed with going back in time. And I think making the film is me trying to cure myself from my desire to go back to the 1960s. Through Eloise's mysterious gift, she is able to retreat into the London of the past. Initially, that is a very alluring, glamorous experience, until it isn't. Jack, I don't want to do this. You think you can just walk away? I love films that are still thrilling, even if they're 60 years old, whether it be Psycho or Blood and Black Lace or Black Narcissus. I really wanted to do something completely different that was a real departure for me. I'm trying to create that spell and those goosebumps, the sort of scary feeling that there's nowhere else to turn. Last Night in Soho is my own perspective on this genre. I wanted to find a way to bring this nostalgia for a time that I never actually lived in to the big screen. Where are you going? If, like, somebody watches the movie and then when they close their eyes at night and it's haunting them... <laughs> then you've done your job.